Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. I believe this is 14. Yes, it's amazing. I can't even believe how many episodes I've already made. So as you can see, I made the minor strut change. Um, yeah, time for launch. Uh, Mechdred, Bartfly, whatever your name is, uh, it was nice knowing you. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm hoping I can get to, to the moon. Um, I kind of just didn't even really pay attention to, um, you know, whether or not, like, how much weight this is or, you know, any of that stuff. I didn't, I, sometimes I just don't even really bother. I, like, I just kind of figure, oh, hey, well, it will make it there. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Um... Yeah, so, um, I kind of like this whole moon base idea, and I think my next one, if this works, and I can get it all the way to the moon without, like, any real problems as far as fuel is concerned, I will launch another one, and I think I'll have two ongoing moon bases being built at the exact same time, one of them on the moon, and the other one on Minmus. Uh, I... I haven't really done much visiting to Minmus. I have gone there many times, but, you know, I just don't really... It's it's not, like, a huge priority for me right now. I'm also thinking about constructing space stations around the moon in Minmus, and I'll show you guys all that stuff, too, if you're interested in seeing it. Um, one thing I have to mention, too... Go to the Kerbal Space Program uh, forums, the official forum for the game. If you guys want to see some ideas and you want to see some just overall cool stuff that people build, that is one of the most awesome sites. I never really went on that site too much because it, I just had no interest. Like Usually for me in forums, I just don't really care so much for forums and the way that they're run and operated and the way things work but I have to say that's probably one of the best places to go for if you need ideas on something to see if something's been done before and give you ideas and sure enough like I thought I was the only one ever making stock rovers and I was proven wrong I went on that site and I was like oh my god like people have been doing it for longer than I have I mean not that I've been not that it's been in existence for a long time, but... Explosions! Uh, not that, you know, I haven't been doing it for a long time or anything, but... You know, I kind of just ran across the idea by accident, you know? It, like, I was just messing around, and I all made a moon rover, sort of by accident. It's just, like, this game it always leads you to do weird things without even realizing it, you know? So, I have to recommend that, and if you guys haven't noticed, um, on my page I actually have a few people linked. Those people also make videos involving Kerbal Space Program, and a lot of you guys know them if you haven't already subscribed or watched their videos already. Uh, Kurt J. Mack and Thor LP, uh, and The Solar Gamer, and uh, I'm leaving somebody else out. There's another one. I can't remember his name. I'm such I'm such a douche. Um so yeah, these guys they're they're I would rate all their videos as being like some of the best as far as involving KSP, but it's more of they're more of like let's players than I, I they don't really show tutorials on how to do a lot of things, but you know, if you need, like, really weird ideas or you want to see some cool stuff that they do, it's always a fun thing to watch. Not to mention they do a lot of live streaming, which I unfortunately can't really do with my internet connection. Not that I have a bad one, but it's more of uh, um, multiple people using it, so I get a really dodgy connection sometimes. Um, it it, it kind of sucks, but... You know, like even connecting to TeamSpeak for me sometimes I get just horrible latency where I'm connecting and disconnecting at like constantly. It's just an annoyance to me. So like I maybe sometime in the future if I get a better connection or you know if some 
you know, whatever. If something happens to where I can get a better connection, then I will definitely do some live streams or, you know, it, it just really depends. Let's see here. Come on. Let's get this moon orbit set up. Well, the, um, yeah. Um, I think I have to add a little bit more. There we go. And that looks good. Let's see what this is. Perfect. That's perfect. How much fuel do I have? Um, decent amount. Just double check. It should be on my last can. Wow, yeah. Sometimes these stages get all mixed up and it doesn't really show you how much, but that that's that's pretty nice right there, I have to say. Um Alright, so we have a burn in 31 minutes. Let's just Yeah, I, I, I am not waiting that long. No way. I I just couldn't even imagine. I don't think this game would ever be popular if they didn't put the uh the time acceleration and I don't think anyone would want to play this game period like it would be fun but I don't think anybody would want to go anywhere past getting out of orbit with Kerbin it would just be annoying like imagine having to wait like three hours in order to get to the moon like I don't I think it's like three or four hours to get to the moon I, I, I just don't think I'd have any patience for doing th that kind of no so, yeah, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but my, my my last video, whatever, the Moon Torch, I think I mentioned it my last episode, I'm not sure. Yeah, um, you know, I'm trying to come up with, like, new weird things that I haven't really seen before, and I am going to implement the Moon Torch into this moon base, but I'm, I'm still just trying to figure out the, uh, how I'm going to do it, where I'm going to put it, and... You know, all that kind of stuff. And that is so what she said. So, oh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, I have to start my burn here in a few seconds. Now, mind you, I don't have enough fuel to get to the moon just off this one stage. But it's going to probably bring it somewhere down to like 400, 300. It's good enough for me. And then I'll just use my uh, remaining fuel to get all the way there. I'll start my burn now. Turn off the SAS, because that just freaks it out, because it's such a long rocket and there's no structural support on it. So that should be ending now. Yep. So go back. Let's get rid of this thing. I'll see you later. Now, is this fixed? Yeah, I think that's fixed. Yeah, I was having some problems before on one of my other rockets, and I don't know, it, it, it got grouped into another stage, and I would detach this whole stage without even using it. It was kind of weird, so, yeah, I couldn't, uh, yeah, I didn't time that very well, I guess. Um, you know, whatever, we'll, we'll, we'll salvage it. So, yeah, uh... I hope you guys are liking the videos. I mean, let me know in your comments. I always want to hear comments. I want to hear, you know, hey, this was a great video or, you know, whatever. Um, or, you know, thank me, thank you for showing me this or whatever. You know, like, I want to know what you guys like. I want to know what you want to see because I am more than happy than tried, trying to, you know, do that for you. Um, now, I can't show you you know, naked pictures of me, I'll do as much as, you know, YouTube will allow. <laughs> um, okay, so, moon, no. Let's see this. Eh, that's not bad. Okay. I think, uh, I'll have to adjust that a little bit in a second. So, let's get this adjusted, and uh, we'll have some fun with this moon base. Now, mind you, I have not landed this before, so I don't know when to start my burn. Um, I have not even, I'm just, you know, going as a, uh, going with the flow. 
but glide in my stride. So, get to this retro, not retro, what am I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm totally acting like a noob right now. You guys are like, oh, you want to adjust your orbit, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I guess I should be going the other way. Or I think I could just burn a little bit more and I'd probably fix it. Let's see. Sometimes it's just like the stupidest things. Yeah, just burn a little bit more. A whole 3.5 meters per second. That should like, you know, drain all the fuel. All the fuel. Okay. Let's see. 115. That's good. Alright, I'll speed it up. Remember I said in my tutorials to do your adjustments here instead of here. You'll burn less fuel here compared to doing your adjustments here. Now we gotta find a landing site. I don't know where I wanna land. To be honest, I kind of want to choose a really cool geographical, you know, landmark or something where, um, you know, they, they can do like EVAs and stuff where they can go out and see all kinds of cool stuffs. Kind of like how Moonbase Alpha just kind of ended up in a really cool spot. Now, uh, let me just look at the moon here real quick. Hmm. I kind of want to land right here. That would be amazing. Because then, I, if I landed like somewhere around here or, you know, somewhere by this trench, that would be awesome. Because then they could do little EVAs and check out this crazy, um, you know, whatever, crater. Um, now let's see. I think I, I'll have to go into orbit. So, that should be amazing. What am I doing? There we go. Whoa! See, I almost lost it there, guys. I almost lost it. Like I said, playing with that time warp, especially when you're approaching a planet, is never a good idea. Or should I say moon? I'll start my burn. Oh, I hope I can land this moon module. Or, I mean, the uh, moon base, whatever. I'll turn off RCS off. Don't need it. Yeah, I plan on landing, like, one big RCS tank instead of, like, a billion and a half little tiny ones. Because I think that was, you know, a lot of these things that I was doing with the first base, it was just kind of, like, habit, you know. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this. And I'm going to need this. It's like, you know, when you're about to pack to go leave to, uh, you know, whatever, you're going camping or something, you're like, oh, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need my Xbox. And then you realize that, like, when you get there, you're, you just lug your Xbox with you or something, or your PlayStation, you got no power. So, let's see, I didn't adjust my orbit, I should have done that, that wasn't too smart of me. Let's see. Oh, I got my focus on the moon again. So let's adjust this up. Ah, I got a lot of fuel, so I'm not really too concerned. I think I want to set up the base somewhere around here, maybe, or like right here. I kind of want to find like a level terrain to set this all up on. I don't want to be uh, on like a huge hill or something, though that's never a good thing. Because especially when you forget to put your brakes on and all your rovers just start rolling away. They start waving at you. I've already done it a couple times. I had, um, I think it was like the second one. The second rover I put on for my moon base. That thing just like rolled like, it was like a whole kilometer or something away. I'm like, no. So let's get this lined up. There we go. Speed up time. And when's our burn? 
Now, see, burns like this, I really don't care so much about. Because, like, as long as it lands in the general area, I kind of don't really care. Um, I'm not trying to do pinpoint landings. I do those when I actually land stuff. Uh, my next episode, though, will be landing a rover. So, if you guys want to tune in to see that... You know, to see how I land my rovers and stuff like that. I mean, it's going to be almost the same thing as how I land this, but it's just going to be slightly different. Uh, I changed my ideas on how I'm going to set up rovers and how I'm going to store them and connect them to space stations. I mean, uh, the not space stations, but the, uh, the moon bases and stuff like that because it's just... The way it's set up, it's like really incredibly inefficient on, on the amount of parts and weight. Not that it's hard to land, I want to use the least amount of parts as possible just because it makes things easier. Now I hope I don't overshoot. And I got plenty of fuel. Like I, I think that's the one thing I, with this design that I have for my rocket, it is like amazing on fuel like I can get all the way to the moon without a problem I can get to Minmus without a problem I haven't really done anything interplanetary and I know I know some of you guys want to see that kind of stuff and I'm just not it's not that I'm not ready for it I just don't really want to do it I I want to just be able to explore and do as much as I can in the Kerbal system first and then afterwards branch out which maybe the next patch when it comes out or something like that or you know when I just feel 100% ready and 100% sure that there isn't anything I'm really leaving behind. I know I can always come back to it but it's like once you go to Duna or someplace like that I mean I feel like I'm probably not going to want to do much with the moon anymore. I mean I would think it'd be awesome to get like a space station in orbit around Duna. I don't even know if that's even possible but it would be amazing to do. So, let's get this landing underway. That's what I want to do. Uh, I don't know how long this video is going to be, and I don't want it to run on, but I, like I said in the other episode, um, which actually ended early, too. I thought I was recording for a lot longer time than I actually was. So, there we go. Ooh, is that right in the trench? That is not a good landing spot. Time to adjust. See what happens when you guys get me talking. Just yapping away, not even realizing what's going on. Ugh, such a bad thing. I kind of don't want to be too close in the crater. Come on, the other way. The other way. Looks good, right there. Now, uh, let's see how fast I'm going, or er, not fast, how high I am. Yeah, as you can see, I still got tons of fuel. I'm, I'm just like loaded. I like this design too, by the way. Or maybe I should just hit G. I actually changed it back because it really wasn't benefiting me much, but whatever. Stop spinning. I'm turning RCS off too. Don't need it. Um, oh, yep, you can see hitting the wrong keys. Alright, I think I'm be comfortable around 40 or so to kind of just correct it and burn off the rest of this fuel. Yeah, that's good. Whatever. I got a really high powered engine, so I don't really care. Stop spinning! I hate that spin. It's infuriating. I usually just kind of stop it once I get it lined up. Just to kind of help me get it in better, you know, sync or whatever you want to call it. 
I really wish this would stop spinning. Driving me angry. Crazy. Ooh, there we go. I think I might just detach it right now as it is. There's just too much fuel. Otherwise, I'll use it to slow me down. I'll get like a few hundred feet off the surface. I don't even know how, how high the surface is, what the elevation is over here, so. Let's see the map. Uh, I hope I'm not on a hill. That would not be nice. Yeah, I used time warp while landing. Because I'm a risk taker. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. I don't have time to wait. I pity the fool. So. Yeah. Come on. I'll turn on RCS now just to line me up faster. I hate waiting. I'm not even like, I'm just trying to like burn this fuel away as much as I can. Some of you guys are probably like, you don't need all that. I'm like, I know. Yeah, one thing I'll have to mention to you guys too is when you use SAS and you have RCS on, if you have a really small craft, just turn RCS off and just leave your SAS on. It makes no point, like, it makes almost no sense to leave your RCS on because it's going to keep on correcting and you're just going to be blowing away fuel for no reason. Like, yeah, just no reason at all. Another thing, too, is when you're throttled up, it really doesn't matter, like, to have RCS on. Like, when you have a small craft, it, like, you can see right now I don't have the engine on and it's kind of hard to maneuver and it's a little annoying, but, you know, to have it on... Like, especially when the engines are on, it's kind of worthless. You're just kind of bleeding fuel away for no reason. Ooh, we're getting kind of close. I'm liking this. Oh, the engine's dead, too. Bye-bye. Ooh, I'm glad I didn't lag out. Because my landers have been lagging out sometimes when I'm, like, going to land. It's quite annoying. Yeah, I had to test out the lights. That'd be cool you put some neons on this. Yeah. Like, make these a little bit more stronger so you have, like, hydraulics. Yeah. Be the first person to have, like, a moon rover with, like, hydraulics and uh, neon lights all over it. Have, like, Fast and the Furious on the moon. Be awesome. Oh, I don't know what the elevation is here. I'm waiting to see my... Oh, wait, that was a good thing. I'm about a thousand meters off. I should have paid a little bit more attention. So let's get this bad boy down. Alright, now it's time for the game face. I probably won't say anything here for about three or four seconds. Oh god, this thing's probably gonna freak out. Don't do it! Oh, don't tip over, don't freak out, please. Oh, come on. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice landing. Oh, yeah. You've seen it first. Here is the the first module to my new moon base. Now I might as well show you guys this because it's a little funny to me to get to land this thing. Every time I do it, it always is like kind of a disaster. Okay, come on, come on, go. Kill the engine. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God. This isn't going to be good. As long as they live, I don't care about this thing. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Um, 
Wow, pieces everywhere. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, there's our first piece to our new moon base. Moon base uh, beta, I guess. All right, I will see you guys next episode. If you like what I'm doing here, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.